What's going on, everybody? <laughs> Welcome to our first video of 2024. Oh, yeah, that's right. It is the 3rd. The 3rd. January 3rd. Yeah, we're a couple 2024. days. 2024. couple days late, but, you know, whatever. Happy New Year. We didn't Happy say it was the Happy first New day. Happy New Year. Trying to do... No, we're not late. Who said we're late? <laughs> <laughs> I hope you guys had an awesome Christmas and New Year, and I hope you're ready to jump into the New Year with everything you have and make it a, a great one. That was corny, but I hope you have a good New Year. It's going to be fun. 2024, I think, is going to be a great year for most people. Well, I hope your new year was terrible. Well, <laughs> damn. <laughs> She's kidding. I'm joking. I'm glad everyone had a new, a good new year. Yeah. That did Hopefully have a good, a good new, new year. year. And whoever didn't have a good new year, there's always next year. So anyway, in today's video, we decided to share some of our past eBay sales from 2023. And we didn't just want to share some of our past eBay sales. We wanted to share some of the really good ones. Yeah. So I think I picked up like 40. <sighs> the last ones. <laughs> 40 or 45 of our best eBay sales from 2023. I actually only went back to April because that's um, all that eBay stored with the pictures. Other we than wanted that, you like, to see pictures. Yeah, we want you to see yeah. actual pictures of the items. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we went back to April, but I think I chose like 40 or 45 items that have sold on eBay for us, like on our eBay account for $100 plus. So we're going to share those items with you. And then in 2024, you can know if you see something like this to, to pick it up, if it's a good deal. Yeah. So hopefully this video helps out a bunch of you guys. Um, I know the Bolo videos are some of my favorites because I can watch them and get a better understanding of what's selling. And I also try to pick out like a wide variety of items, not yeah. just like shoes or t-shirts or whatever. So yeah, because who some, cares about old t-shirts? There's definitely some like old t-shirts in this Like a small portion of our audience. There's gonna be some old t-shirt sales. Guys. are some of my favorites. <laughs> okay, it's not, well, okay. Some people it's interesting yeah. too, that's fine, that's fine. And then one other thing before we jump into today's video, our mentoring group is back open. We haven't opened it in over, I think over three years, which is crazy. And we've made it insanely good. To me, it's the best reseller group out there just because it encompasses everything. Like we know a lot about eBay. We know a lot about whatnot. We know a lot about social media and vintage, but there's things we don't know about like Amazon and Walmart and Poshmark and Macari and selling on you know, your own website or doing private label, stuff like that. So we wanted to partner with other people who are, you know, six, seven figure sellers on those platforms. And that's what we did. So the group is open. There's a fully built out Discord group. There's a Facebook group. We're doing live Zoom calls every single week that'll be recorded so you can go back and watch them. That's right. You get to see one of us live. It's it's a crazy, crazy thing. And we're Yay. just gonna keep adding to it throughout the year. So, and you can join monthly or you can pay yearly, whatever you wanna do. Anyway, there's a link in the description of today's video. We're gonna limit the amount of people that join, but for now it is open. So if you wanna join that group, click on the link and join the group. Yeah. And if not, that's okay too. You can just keep watching YouTube videos like this. To Tons learn. of free content yeah. on our YouTube channel. Don't give us money if you don't wanna give us yeah. money. But we're, we're this is just like a fast on. track, exactly. you know, for people exactly. who just want a bunch of info from us and then also we brought it back by popular request right yeah. like people have been asking about it for years and years and years and with inflation we know everyone um, out there who is struggling that wants to work hard they're looking for a really you yeah. know fast easy investment to scale right. so um, just because everyone's been asking for it and we don't want anyone to think that we're like money hungry no, right no, no. so we didn't do it for no. many many years we had students from the past and everyone's been happy and so we had all our feedback and the excess successes so yeah if it's you don't a, want to give us your money cool. don't give us your money it's fine we have tons of free information but it is condensed fast track you know keeping people accountable so yeah. maybe it is for you you know look into it or don't it's fine and you can always like try it out for a month and if you don't want to do it then you don't have to do it be like i hate you ah oh, you're going goodbye Anyway, guys and girls, here we go. Let's jump into today's video. I, like I said, I think there's like 40 plus items, stuff that we've sold ourselves on eBay in 2023 for $100 plus. Ready? I'm so ready. Here we go. It's not going to be like anything I found. <laughs> there's a couple of your things. Maybe like two. <laughs> Maybe. Here we go. We're going to start with the first one. This was found at a garage sale. I paid $5 for it and it sold for $100. And it is a TRX Go Home Gym Suspension Resistance Trainer. It was brand new in the box. It sold through promoted listings on eBay. 
we got $100 for it. After fees, after expenses, after shipping, we probably made a net profit of around 75 bucks. Really good. Good sale. That's great. Oh man, yep. So this is the JVC, it's just a CD recorder? CD recorder, compact recorder with it's, remote. Oh, I was thinking it was gonna be a VHS player. Yeah, okay. yeah. Wow, that's, that's a really long thing. Recorder, oh yeah, just Whoa, the CD Whoa, it sold recorder. for so much money. It did, yeah. It sold for, I read that one, right? Yeah, that yeah. number, because there's two numbers to read. Yeah. It sold for 197.77. They didn't even do the best offer. They just bought it. They just bought it. They just bought it. And they that was it. on April 14th of 2023. Wow. The funny thing about this one is we got it at a garage sale. I think I paid $10 for it. And I remember thoroughly looking at it and going, should we buy that? Because you were like, we don't like to ship bigger things. I said, I as like, long as really I'm not good. shipping it, because every time Callie goes out of town, I have to ship <laughs> so a VHS player. That's so true. And it takes Callie a long time to ship something, so you are, the profit has to be really high on right. it. And that one, the profit was very high on it. 10 bucks into $200. If it's worth it's it and the profit's there, don't be afraid to ship larger stuff. Don't be afraid. Yeah. And don't be like me. I don't want it. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Be like Allie for sure. Just, you know. Also buy stuff that- But uh, if the profit's there. If the profit's, exactly. Okay, next up, this was, where do we, oh, uh, thrift store. Found this at a thrift store. It was at that lighthouse thrift store. I remember oh. I paid $10 for them. They went oh. through eBay's authenticity guarantee program, which by the way, video coming soon on that. We got some dirty, dirty, dirty BS from eBay. Yeah, so- I don't know how else to say it nicely. Subscribe to the channel because some eBay dirt coming out soon. Trash. Anyway, I uh, paid $10 for them and they sold for $105. They are Reebok Kamikaze Sean Kemp Seattle Supersonics sneakers. Sneakers are great and that sold April 30th, 2023. I can't wait for you guys to see this new eBay video that's coming out. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I'm disgusted. Oh no. Yeah, but it's okay. They'll fix it. All right, next one. They'll fix it. Where do we get these? Okay, so, oh, these are the Rothies. These are from the New York trip that yep. we went on. And then the lady at the store was like, oh, you're stealing, blah, 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 yeah. get out of here. I'll no, link that video really up happened, here somewhere but. if you wanna see it. In a nutshell, yeah. yeah, she was being really weird with me. So we only paid $15 a pair, I think it was like $20 a pair. No, there's oh. like 12 to, to 15 or something like that. It was under 15. 20, it was okay. under 20 bucks. Let's just say on the high end, we paid $15 a pair okay, on these sure. and it sold for $127? Nice. Oh my goodness. Okay, very nice, size yeah, eight. They're ones. retired, Moroccan style, Rothy's, cool. Sold May 2nd, 2023. Oh, I'm supposed to read the date, my bad. Well, just, I think people Sorry, might be everybody. interested in that. I, yeah. I am interested in yeah. that, yes. We yeah. should share that info. Also, you'll notice that a lot of these sales are from different sources. Some might be from bulk buyouts, but I would say most of them are going to be from going to garage sales, thrift stores, yard sales. I said yard sales already. Auctions, places, you didn't say estate garage sales, sale. garage sales, places like that, and sourcing one at a time. Because on eBay, that's typically how we how we find stuff. So it's pretty cool that you can still in 2023 and definitely going into 2024, you can still go out to garage sales and thrift stores and find cool stuff to flip online. It's also cool you can have a yard sale, but you're not actually selling your yard. That's true, dad joke for the win. <laughs> My dad would always walk up and be like, how much for the garage? <laughs> That's a me joke. <laughs> okay, next Sorry, we're up. supposed to go fast. Speaking of garage sales, I found this at a garage sale. I actually found this when you were out of town oh. the one day. Um, I paid up on it, it was $20. I didn't negotiate at all, I just paid the $20. And can see why. vintage electronics new in the box. They do great. I didn't even know what this was. Panasonic integrated telephone system, intercom, some piece of older technology that sold for $187. I could save an older bucks, person's life who hasn't acclimated to new technology. Yeah, for sure. They could be like, help, I've fallen. Oh, oh. That's scary. Yeah. No, seriously, that is a big issue. We love you, our, our um, mature friends. Yeah. Our safe. wise, our wise friends. Our wise and mature friends. Yeah. Please be safe and don't fall. That's actually my biggest fear. Our right, next <laughs> item up. This was found at a garage sale. Uh, Ooh, this was when Erica was in town. Oh, yeah. Friend Erica. Yes. This is a lot of uh, NHL ice hockey pucks. We like just a bought bunch of pucks. all of them. Yeah. And the guy was, I, honestly, this was like a shot in the dark. I didn't look them up. I just saw them and I was like, someone wants those for sure. So I paid $20 for the lot of them. And they, a fair price. I, wait, wait, it might've been 25 actually. I think you paid between 25 and 30 for them. Okay, okay. Yeah. I think I might've paid, paid up for them. But they sold for $110. So again, right. paid up at a yard sale, 
still worth it when you can four times your money after fees. It's really nice. Yeah, and we knew we could ship them in something really small. True. And they're pucks, right? So like, they're not gonna get broken. People yeah. smack them with sticks all day. Yeah. Ooh, yes. Okay, so this is a vintage 90s polo fishing, fly fishing jacket? Jacket, Right, yeah. and it's so, wait, what? Yeah, you like it's that for one? for $300 May 16th? Someone bought this for $300? Isn't that cool? 300 bucks. Whoa. Do you know where we got that? Do you remember? Oh, no, I'm just still like blown away by that. 300 price. bucks. Good Whoa. price. So quick too. When we're in New York, when we met up with the dude at the coffee shop. Yes. This was in there. Okay. It was yeah. in there. Yeah. Good one. Wow. There you go. Angler jacket, 90s polar rough worn. Good one. Buy those if you ever see them. <laughs> apparently. <laughs> and then another, this wasn't really a jacket. It's more of just a shirt, uh, but it's a really, really good brand and one that mm. not a lot of people know about. It's called Willis Geiger, and it's a shooting shirt. Looks I like a hunting type shirt. I found it at this local Goodwill right by us, actually. I paid $8 for it, and it sold for $125. That's really rare for you to find something worth over $100 yeah, at that Goodwill. But is. if we go often enough, Ryan proved it. He went every single day for like three weeks, and every single week you found multiple items worth yeah. over $100. Yeah. Some of them you had to pay up on, but not all of them. It's just if you're there at the right time mm. with the right knowledge, you can find those things. And listen, like thrifting's hard. It is very you know? hard. And to, especially now, and to do it for a full-time living, I don't think is, is viable. I mean, it's fun. You could definitely do it as like a side hustle, and I'm not saying you can't make good money doing it, but I'm saying that if you wanna like take your business to the next level, if you are a reseller, you, you might want to look at adding in other stuff like wholesale, liquidation, buyouts, estate sales, what auctions. What we're trying to say is by thrifting and garage sales only, scaling is going to be the be most tough. difficult yeah. part of your business. Yeah. Whereas if you are buying in bulk and wholesale, scaling is significantly easier. Granted, your you know ROI on an item is going to be lower, sure. but especially if you're getting like multiples or large quantity, think about the hours you spend driving around and thrifting and looking for items and like researching yeah, stuff. You're just getting like a bulk amount of things and they're there. So all of those hours you're saving. So really that's almost even a time is money it kind is, of a for thing. Sure. So and if you want to learn more about wholesale and bulk buying and stuff like that, join our group. Oh, like the group. Plug. Plug. Tacky. <laughs> that was gross. I liked it. <laughs> okay. The next item up is a t-shirt. Sorry, but there's going to be some t-shirts. I This was a wholesale buyout that I did. I apologize and to me. Apologize to everyone who doesn't care. Oh, well, they're going to care when they hear the price. So oh, well, yeah. <laughs> this particular shirt, I thought this one was interesting because I bought it uh, not knowing that it had a little bit of dry rot. Oh. Yeah. So it had slight dry rot to it. Okay. I got the shirt. I paid up on it. I paid $400 for this piece. I actually bought it as a personal for myself. So I was a little bit upset that it was dry rot. I, I reached out to the buyer uh, or to the buyer, to the seller. He ghosted me. It's a risk that you take sometimes when it comes to vintage, unfortunately. That being said, I decided to sell the t-shirts. I was very, very um, thorough in my description of how the dry rot was and that it was still very wearable, but it did have dry rot. That being said, the shirt sold for $600. So I bought it for 400 as a personal and still was able to get $600 for it. In perfect condition, maybe that shirt would have gone for close to $1,000 but wow. I still made my money back and a little bit of profit, which I'm totally happy with. I feel like you should bling up the person who ghosted no, you to call them out. That was so years funny. ago. Honestly, oh, years. I, I wore this oh. shirt for like two years before I decided to sell it anyway. So oh. it's all good. I was harping on Ryan about buying handmade quilts and then we were at an estate they sale. Is this from the estate oh. sale? Yeah. Okay, this is one of the ones from the estate sale and we bought all of these quilts and we paid up for them, but it was on half off day or quarter yeah, off day? Half, half off day. Half, half off, off day. day. We, we like back. went back to get the quilts because you posted something mm -hmm. and somebody on YouTube, thank you so much yeah. for informing us. Like, like, go back we and grab those quilts. so greatly appreciate when someone says, hey, this is worth a lot of money, go back and grab it if it's worth it for you because thank you, we did. And that one quilt of the many quilts sold for $200. 200 bucks. Okay? And that was June 1st. But that being said, taking a picture of a quilt is a pain in the butt. We had a wall True. and I was like, Callie, we have to take pictures of these quilts. They're just, I mean, how long were the quilts sitting there for like 
almost a year. Yeah. They were just sitting in the death pile, and I was like, Callie, <laughs> you know yeah. how I laugh. <laughs> so I said, Callie, we're hooking up all the quilts. We're just like clipping them on this wall thing that we have, and we're taking pictures, and they're getting listed. And she said, okay. So I was like, all right, that's on me. I, ta yeah. I own that. So. We took pictures of the quilts. Callie did an amazing job mm -hmm. researching them. Research is key. Yes. Listed it in two hundred dollars. It's a good price. For two hundred dollars, research it well. But we do ha also have friends who like know a lot of That's keywords, true. who work quilters, and we always ask friends for help if we need it and we can't figure it out ourselves, or just to verify that our research is accurate. Or if you're in like a paid reseller group, you can. Oh. Ask <laughs> My God! Twice. Wow! Got him! Got him twice. Where's the puke bucket? Got him twice. Oh my god. Link in bio. I am so bah, 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 bah. sorry no, okay. for the I'll stop. I'll stop. For right. That um, was really also, funny. Also, the though. quilts were like 37 bucks a piece is what we paid. Like, oh, you remember? Nice. Yeah. They're under 50. Right, I'll go fast with this one cuz it's another vintage t-shirt. This is a Evander Holyfield and Mike Tyson boxing t-shirt, kind of like similar oh. to the one <gasps> that I have on right here. <laughs> uh big sale on this. It sold on June 6th right two days after my birthday sold for nine hundred dollars and that, that was in a buyout that i paid roughly 250 bucks a piece so really good sale on that yeah and some of the items in that buyout remember guys we say 250 a piece some might be a 200 150 item yeah. but yeah so it at ryan just averages across the board next item up is a thrift store find this was i believe i paid like 15 dollars for these at salvation army down the oh. road shout out y2k y2k y2 stands for <clears throat> Excuse me, had a frog in my throat there. Y2K is just 2000s. So 2000s fashion, really, really popular right now. One of my um, least favorite fashions of all the fashions. I know, but it's hot right now. I and keep thank in you mind. Thank you, Paris Hilton. I appreciate oh, that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> keep in mind that it's now 2024. So anything from 2004 is now vintage. So all of that early Y2K stuff is very, very popular right now. And I believe that in 2024, it's just going to continue to rise in popularity because you have we a lot We know of, it will because yeah. that's the trend. That's what we're seeing. If you look at a graph historically, that's what will happen. But you have a lot of like kids that grew up in that era that are now coming into a little bit of money. They're getting jobs. They're yeah. getting out of college and they're wanting to buy back their childhoods which for us, our childhood was the 90s. For them, <laughs> it was the 2000s. So like, this is a pair of Ed Hardy jeans that again, I bought for I think $15 and they sold for $130 very, very quickly. Used Ed Hardy jeans. Wow, buy yeah. them all. <laughs> and then I'll do this one again real quick. Together. Together. Yeah, I agree. This was a really cool sale, 80s. Again, mm -hmm. all vintage has buyers for them. You just have to find the right collector. These were sitting True. on eBay for a while, probably for like seven months. But it, worth it. But worth it. And it came from that large buyout that I did when I flew out to California in one day, picked up all of that stuff. So I paid roughly 75 bucks a piece. Again, average it out. Mm -hmm. Not everything is worth this much money. Right. But two Iron Maiden 80s Raglan shirts sold together for, wait for it, $1,625. I remember when that shirts. still came through. I was like, ah! Try not to scream in the mic house. Like, ah! <laughs> Switching hands with the microphone because this one's getting a little sweaty. A little yeah, whenever sweaty. I play Switch, I realize my buzz have gotten bigger. Look at that little buzz from like holding the Switch up for like down, hours at Nally. a time. I play way too much Disney Dreamlight Valley. I have a problem. You play but I don't just need enough for or you. want help. So is it? <laughs> 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 Next item up, another local Goodwill find at that Goodwill down there. I saw Shocking. like three other resellers looking at the shoes. They all whacked. They all whacked. They all walked right past these shoes. They are Vivo Barefoot, which, by the way, really good shoes. I actually Vivo. Bought, I bought two pairs on Whatnot oh, from right. eBay Princess. Shout out eBay Princess. She's awesome. She works um, hard. That girl. She works Dang. so hard. We met her in person. She's very nice. Yeah. I paid 50 bucks a pair or like 60, 50 to 60 bucks a pair on her whatnot show. Um, but this is, I didn't get these from her. I got these at Goodwill for 10 bucks and they were new. They had tags on them still and they were brand new. Whoa. And they sold for $150 on eBay. Idiots that walked by. You got to always get one in. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't have known, guys. Let's be real. I'm an idiot when it comes to most no. clothing. When it comes to most clothing, yeah. No. Nah. I like the hard goods. All right, oh. I'm going to do this next one, too. Speaking of hard goods. What's wrong? I was just sad that all those cool Christmas things I bought sold. Oh, Because babe. I liked them. So I was like, You're Callie, right. list them up there. You list definitely don't have enough Christmas stuff. It's true. 
Oh, I have an explosion of too much Christmas <laughs> stuff. It's bad. Okay. All right, I'm going to do this next one too. This was a local buyout from a friend of mine who owns a vintage store. So that's pretty cool that you can go into like a vintage store, make friends with people, and buy wholesale from them sometimes if, they, if they let you. Friend. Mysterious friend. Um, but a lot of the times, like their store doesn't really focus on hiring clothing. They do mostly yeah. shoes and like um, like mid type clothing. So when they get something that's worth more money, they'll reach out to me and, you know, because we sell online, we can buy yeah. it. So this was Easier a uh, polo Ralph Lauren rugby shirt that sold for two hundred dollars. It's crazy for one polo, really and cool. not all of them do well, right? No. It's just such a rare, select few. When it comes to polo stuff, it's a really interesting niche market. Like for you've sure. got to know polo. And that sold July twentieth. Ooh, you nice. did that one. <gasps> I'm gonna talk about this. Oh wow, I can't even say those words. What's the year? Just say spy camera. This is a spy camera that we found at an estate sale and it was so cool and Ryan so was cool. playing with it and it just yeah. sat in the car for like months, just like in the center console, like getting well, whacked around. I wasn't gonna sell it. You weren't gonna sell it. I was it, gonna but, keep oh it. Oh my God, it sold for $128 yeah. July 20th? Yeah. What? And we paid 10 bucks for it. Oh my God. It actually, it was two so pieces cool. and both pieces said $10 on them and we weren't sure when we checked out if they were gonna say 20 bucks. Because they were like two separate pieces. It was weird. But they were like, ah, $10. Because they knew it was the same item. They were like, yeah, yeah that's weird, just together. Cool so. item, though. Spy camera. Such legit, cool like item. an actual spy camera. No, it it's was cool. legitimately yeah. legit. Legitimately <laughs> legit. Ooh, this is a bed stew bag. Why don't you talk about that? Oh, okay. Time? We got this bed stew bag from Kyle. Yeah. The other way, yeah. Amazon Thank box. Thank you, Kyle. And we knew it was worth money. We didn't know how much money it was worth. Did a bunch of research. Ryan was like, we'll just sell all the purses on whatnot. And I said, not that one. And I pulled it aside and I said, don't you touch this. It's going on eBay. So I kicked it. And he, he just kicked it. Kicked yeah. it onto eBay. Yeah, right there. So it sold for $155 July Dang. 20th. $155 for a bed stew. Banana I don't bread at work, bro. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> $155? Banana <laughs> bread at work, bro? Hey, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 155 bucks, And we paid roughly like $15 for it. Yeah. Yeah. But some, we bought a bunch of stuff. Too. Some individual items we only paid five bucks for. True. Thank you, Kyle. He had too Kyle much stuff. Kyle was awesome. We bought a lot of stuff. So the next item, this was another little buyout. Uh, it came with a bunch of t-shirts. And I was like, uh, that's not a t-shirt, but it's cool. So I put it on eBay. Actually, interesting, Oh, I remember this item. Interesting thing with this unique. one. It's a Grateful Dead Dragonfly, like Oliver print button-up shirt. So and unique. it sold for $100. But what I did was I took pictures, then put it on eBay. And then I took the link from eBay and I posted it in our Instagram story. Oh. And I was like, this is really cool. If anybody wants to go grab it off eBay, go and grab it. Instead of doing like a transaction where you have to, like on Instagram, usually we have to like collect the money through PayPal and then ship, get their shipping address and all that stuff. So I was just like, whatever, oh. I'll pay the 13% fee, go and buy it if you want it. And it sold within like five minutes. So I thought that was pretty cool. That's very Different interesting. Different way of doing it. Okay. Cool. So for the 10% that- 10 bucks. You know, eBay collected $10, $10, that we didn't. It was worth it for you for I the guess time. So. I was really busy to... that day and lazy. You're busy. Well, no, <laughs> and it was an lazy. experiment to let people know, like, hey, we experimented. Yeah. That worked. Yeah. It's an option if you're busy, but if you're not busy, maybe don't do that. Right. Maybe yeah. depending on the cost of the item. But if it's something like a thirty-five right. dollar item, definitely do that. Next item up. This is another garage sale find. It is a Dymo label writer, 450 thermal label printer. Heck yeah. With labels. Uh, again, garage sale find. I paid so 20 bucks for the printer, $5 for the labels. So $25 altogether. Could have separated them. Probably got a little bit more money, but you know, just it's sold easier. them all together. Because we pay Cali to do a listing, yes. right? So we pay and her ship. for the time for two listings and then to ship two separate items. Right. So it actually six of one, half a dozen of the other. Love that saying. Love it. Thanks, dad. Together, Even though my dad like never watches of any of our videos, but neither do I, so who am I to judge? <laughs> uh, anyway, it sold on eBay as a bundle for $162. Dang. 25 bucks into 162 Good sale of 2023. Dang. That sold August 16th, 2023. Wow, now I don't feel bad about that Amazon purchase I just made. What'd you buy? I bought matching shampoo bottles that nice. I can refill myself. Nice, nice. So nice. everything matches because nice. my OCD nice. in the nice. bathroom, I was like, this is gross. I want it all to match. I saw something on Facebook that, you know how people like mark themselves safe when stuff's happening? You can like mark yourself safe during an event. Oh. 
you like anyway no, you don't, don't know because you're not really on facebook but you can like if something's what? happening like a hurricane comes through you can it's like marked safe Anyway, Whoa. people were po- posting memes that were like <laughs> marked on like uh uh what's it january 3rd they were like marked safe from buying anything from amazon this year oh that's <laughs> pretty funny um not me i uh, bought it yesterday uh, january 2nd <laughs> uh next item up this was a goodwill find at the goodwill that we're going to be moving to towards closer toward, to, closer to closer to closer to yeah so it was pretty cool we're find. just moving in the goodwill we're just moving in the goodwill yeah right I paid fourteen dollars for this one, fourteen, fifteen bucks, something like that. It's a men's uh, Patagonia jacket. I found it in the women's section, so Not check good. everywhere. And it sold for hundred and twenty dollars fairly quickly. Wow, I thought you were gonna say something country like, you know, Western wear, yeehaw. Nope, because we're moving like into the country issue. It's country. It is a little country. It's country. There's a bunch of cows <laughs> behind us. Next item up, another Y two K type piece, uh, mm. Jinko. Guys, Jinko is back in a big, big, big way. You can way. find UFOs. Yeah. The, yeah. the bigger the pants, the better. I wish I still had my baby blue Jinkos. They'd be worth more than I paid for them. Oh, easy. Yeah, easy. You're the one who pushed me to get rid of stuff. Oh, you are, are you donated them? A long time ago. Nice. Sorry. Yeah. This pair Probably of before Jinkos. Before moved to Australia. <laughs> this pair sold for $200. I got, I think, five pairs. No, no, no. I got like 10 pairs total. All of them, except for one, have sold, and all roughly for about the same, for $200. And I paid 55 bucks a piece for those. You did great with that buy. Yeah. I'm glad you did that buy. It's oh, good. I love this. So this was at an estate sale. Yes. This is a $250 item. Cha-ching. And it's a statue of dogs. It's a dog statue. Dog statue. But it's Danbury Mint. So if you guys recognize that brand on anything, always look it up. It's on ceramics and hard goods. I don't know if they make any soft goods, but they make only seen hard goods with very Danbury. highly valuable items because it's extremely high quality. Yeah, very, very. You typically tell whenever you look at a Danbury Mint item that it's high quality. If something looks high quality, research it if you don't know it well and you're not familiar with it because 250 dollars is so much money and it was adorable we paid 50 bucks for it with a corgi there's a bunch corgis. of corgis you're gonna pop up a picture and everyone's gonna be like yeah. corgis playing poker yeah Super the infamous cute. poker scene um i can't remember dogs which playing poker it's a painting author paint or which artist painted that i don't know either i don't remember yeah. hmm. speaking of dogs Woof, little woof. transition there. It was a good little transition. Oh, this Speaking sale. of dogs, this was a find at a flea market, local flea market. Insane. Paid, we paid, I think, $5 for three hats. And this particular hat sold for $125. Which is insane that you recognize that this hat was smart. that special, highly <laughs> valuable hat. I'm so smart and humble <laughs> and good looking. <laughs> Polo Sport Ralph Lauren hat uh, had a retriever embroidered on the front of it, little like Labrador retriever. I never would have known. Sold for 125 bucks. That's amazing. Here's an alley find. This is another alley find. Okay, so this is Petty Point, not Petite Point because there's no E, but Petty Point. Petty. It. Petty. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so it was a pair of Petty Point pillows, and I knew that they were expensive because I know that the kits were very expensive back in the day and then to make the whole pillow was obviously quite costly and then the time involved so I knew that people go online and they just like buy these vintage petty point pillows or needle point pillows or just like these vintage you know handmade pillows and these sold for $99.87 so not oh, quite a hundred dollars. My goodness. But I included it anyway. And I told Callie, maybe just take a risk and list them high. She's like, what do you want me to list them? And I said, just list them high because these are very nice ones. They're highly desirable. And I'm pretty sure they sold for like 20% more than similar yeah. items. Actually, after tax, 10886. So I'll let it slide. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Three cents less, but you gotta get something in there weird yeah. that I got. So yeah, if you are at estate sales, which is where you're usually gonna find them. Look at the Needlepoint and Petty Point pillows. If you don't know the difference, Google it. You'll see Petty Point is far more detailed. It's like four per single Needlepoint. Nice. Yeah. Another one that uh, it's not $100 per item, but as a whole, Together. we made a ton of money on so these. So much money. Our best garage sale find of the year. Ever. Uh, maybe ever. Yeah. I Actually, think yeah, maybe ever. ever. I think yeah. maybe ever. Just on the amount, like the revenue. Forty dollars is what Insane. we paid for a bunch of Canon cameras. Half of them were not working. We sold the ones that were not working, and altogether we made like six hundred bucks already. And then we have like another eight cameras left that are working. 
So pretty crazy. That's crazy. For Forty dollars into, I would say, close to two thousand dollars in revenue. It's crazy because the guy just wanted to get rid of everything, and he was like struggling going through it, and he was yeah. all annoyed about yeah. it, and he's like, "I just have to sell these." And then you're like, "Well, what if I buy it all?" Because he was just selling he was them one very by happy. one, and he said, "Okay, yeah." And then yeah. why did he only say forty dollars? That was crazy. I don't know, and like. The other thing about that sale that too crazy. is he knew what he had. He was a technology officer like for a company. So like it's not like he didn't he even said this camera is worth $140. He you knew. can have it for $10. So we didn't take advantage of him cuz honestly like if that was just someone with cameras and they said $40, I would right. have said like hey, we'll give you $400 for these cameras, but he literally just wanted to get rid of them. He so, did not want to deal with them. It was no. like his job said get rid of these and he said okay. Yeah. He did not want to be out there on a Saturday selling these no. cameras. All right, next item up. This was another Goodwill find, a different Goodwill, third local Goodwill, actually. Third. Okay. Yeah. A pair of Bose speakers, brand new in the box, new Crazy. open box, and they sold pretty quickly. On December 9th, they sold for $120. I paid, I'll have to go back and look. I believe I paid $14.97 before tax. Cool. Might have been a little bit more. Maybe it was thirty dollars. I don't know. <laughs> There's a lot in life we don't know. It was a good profit though. And a larger item as well. So we probably paid like twenty, thirty bucks to ship them. Huh. But still great profit. Still great. Yeah. Woohoo. Wow. So Coogee. Coogee for your booty. Kuji sweaters. Uh, for your yeah, back. this one, December 9th, sold for $250. Probably a Christmas gift. Men's size XL Kuji sweater. Not super crazy colors on this one. No. It's more neutral Good size, compared to other ones, but an excellent size yeah. in XL. So small is going to be worth the least, then medium, and then large and extra large are about equal. Yeah. yeah. And just to give you an idea as well uh, of why whatnot can be good to buy stuff on. That's we true. sold a, a similar style of Kuji jacket or sweater that was actually like more vibrant, better colors in my opinion, but it was a size medium. And that one sold in whatnot for, I believe, $140. And this XL, not as vibrant, sold for $250. So it sold for more money. So if you're willing, that's why different platforms are good for different things. If you want to move inventory quickly, whatnot's great. If you want to get top dollar for stuff, I still think eBay's king. Yes, yeah. I agree with that. Most of the time, it works every time. <laughs> All right, next item up. Actually, before we jump into the next item, which is a yard sale flip, 50 cents into $100. Pretty Woo! crazy. Before we jump into that, I just want to take like 20 seconds to say thank you to you our guys. Our sponsors, just kidding. Not our sponsors. <laughs> thank you to you guys, not our sponsors. Kind uh, of. For yeah. like a really cool 2023. We had a lot of fun in 2023. We did a lot more traveling than we did in the p previous years because we couldn't. Mainly. But I traveled <laughs> so much this year. We did a lot of traveling. We met a lot of really cool people. We went Such to reseller nice events, people. sold a lot of good stuff. But overall, it was just an awesome year. And also thank you to Callie as well for helping out eh. this year. <laughs> <laughs> Callie's been wonderful and we're so lucky to have yeah. her. And because of Callie, we have been able to scale. Yeah. And because of Callie, we are able to make as many videos as we make. So if it wasn't for Callie, right, and having somebody who reliable and dependable, we, it would be very difficult to make what we make. So thank you, Callie. Thank you, Callie. And that's and, it. That's all you get. <laughs> <laughs> and then also, I said this on, on Instagram, but I wanted to say it here as well. Uh, when you're a reseller, sometimes it's hard not to be on that 24-7 grind mentality. Yeah. It's kind of hard to step back sometimes. So I want to you know, kind of tell you guys, maybe in 2024, take a step back and decide if you're happy with how your lifestyle is going. Or if you want something that's a bit more sustainable where you're not getting burned out. I think like burnout is a really big thing. Mental health is a really big thing with resellers. We've been through it many, many times in the past. Oh yeah. And just designing a lifestyle where like, you know, we're at the point now where we could take two months off and still make money and the business would be okay. And not yeah. being on that 24 seven hustle, you know, you have to do it, list a hundred things a day. Ah! Like that's not the type of environment that we want to develop. Take control of your life. Don't let your life control you. Yeah. Don't. So if you need to take a step back to reassess and go, maybe I shouldn't be listening to these, you know, gurus that are telling me I have to grind 24 seven, get off of work at five and work from five to midnight and ignore your friends and family. That's not a healthy lifestyle. So especially when you get older, you need your friends. I'm going to get off my 
pedestal now or okay. off my uh, perch and get back into these. <laughs> almost dropped it. <laughs> this oh. All right, guys. Next item up. 50 cents at a yard sale. Alien vs. Predator plush toys. Amazing. Plush is great. Some, it was some the plush. end of the day. It was like 1240. We were on our way back. It was something not that late. Maybe it was like 12. 30 but they were packing up there were like 10 things left on their table mm -hmm. and they just wanted to get rid of everything and ryan thought they were so cute and he was like let me get them for myself i bought them for me you bought them for yourself thinking oh they'll look cute in your office yeah. on a shelf and then you thankfully were like yeah let me look them up just in case yeah. we always look everything up just in case anyways that's a good way to learn because of plushies like we always yeah. know random plushies are worth money and you looked those up and mm -hmm. you were like what it was like a hundred bucks uh yeah we're gonna sell them and they did sell because <laughs> i can take that hundred bucks and buy something else that I like more. More you know? coffee and more wine. More coffee. More wine! <laughs> <laughs> and those sold on December 13th. The next sale is from December 15th, so getting closer to the end of the year now. Ooh. You might have seen this in a recent video, Patagonia Puff Jacket. We bought it at a red, white, and blue thrift store. Paid up. For $20. It was $19.99. It was fair. And it sold same day for 125 bucks. Totally fair. Ba-boom. I will take that all day, every day. I would have bought 50 of them if they allowed us to. And here's one of Allie's best finds of the year. This is one of my best finds of the year. Oh, my goodness. Bought these at an estate sale off of the wall. Literally I go, babe. I know that these are worth money. So we brought them home. Oh my goodness, they sold for a lot of money. I knew they were worth more than $80. I didn't know they were worth Got this it. much. So thanks, Callie. Again, I said, I love these. Just list them high. We can take a best offer. If not, I'll keep them because they would look great in my 70s I'll room. Like them. I had every intention of keeping these <laughs> if they didn't sell yet again. My taste must be generic because someone wanted taste. them for $129.49. December 15th. December 15th. Do you remember how much you paid for them? Oh, like eight bucks each I think you're maybe. Right. Or I think you're right. for both of them, yeah. $8. Abco Everyone walked past them. Sconce. Every single reseller that walked in there, they were Arabian right there at sconce. the front door when you walked in. Super Everybody cool. walked past them except me. Hmm? Actually, I did twice. And then I went <laughs> back and grabbed them. All right, next item, found these in Vegas on, I don't know what street it was on, but it was on like a main street, Buffalo Exchange. It was late, late at night. We went to a bar and then we went into this Buffalo Exchange and just looked around. That's right. And I was like, oh, there's Big E Levi's. And they weren't just Big E, they were newer ones, not vintage ones, but they had Star Wars print on them. And I was like, someone's gonna pay money for these. Someone has to pay money for these. They wanted $30 for I them. I found them actually. Ryan's telling the story wrong. Oh, okay, sorry. Well, I remember you bringing them up to me then. And then that's, you know, sorry. Yeah. I didn't mean to take credit for No, 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 you can not take credit because I researched them and I was like, these gotta be worth money. And I brought them to Ryan. I was like, right, like these are good? Aren't these good? And I was and then like, you shut made up, the call. give me the credit. <laughs> <laughs> and then you made the call to buy them. I did, yeah. Yeah. 30 bucks, they sold for $100, which, which is, is grateful. Great. Yeah, it was great. It was easy flip, too. <laughs> it was easy. Sorry. It's <laughs> funny. You were right. like, I found these. I just and I remembered like, it like I found them. But I found you, so it counts. Oh. oh. By proxy. Oh, by proxy. Hey, <laughs> what's mine is yours. Okay, next item. <laughs> this was a thrift store find on a Suka Tiger. You, again, you might have seen them in a recent video. So pretty. Loved these. December 18th, they sold for $99.99, and we paid 10 bucks for them at a thrift store. Fun fact about on a Suka Tiger shoes, Kill Bill movie. Dave will have oh, yeah. some. Yeah. Yeah, they're yeah. in uh, Uma Thurman is wearing them. Yeah, they're... Uh, murder, they're like, what, 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 what color? What, they're yellow and... Yellow and black. Yellow and black. Right? Yeah, yellow and black? I think so. Yeah, I believe so, cool. but yeah. So. Those are the most expensive ones you can buy. Right, because Uma yeah. Thurman warm. Yeah, and they don't make them that colorway anymore, right? Yeah. Or do they? I don't know. They might actually still I make them that way. I think they do way. actually still yeah. make that colorway. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> uh, speaking of shoes, garage sale find. This was another one that I found when you weren't with me, but I found Aww. five pairs of teaks. All by myself. <laughs> <laughs> Album dropping 2029. <laughs> so I could take Teaks. four, five years of singing <laughs> lessons and then maybe uh, I'll be ready. I paid $100 for five pairs of teaks and this one pair sold for 150 bucks. So we're Whoa. in profit. The rest of them are pure profit. Whoa. Yeah. Teaks. Wow. Teaks. And then another thrift store find, uh, another recent one. I think we paid. I think they were on sale, so we ended up paying $15, $10. I don't remember. I think it might be $10. They sold for $129. They are Hoka One One Challenger Gore-Tex sneakers. I love that name. Hoka One One. It's a good one. Oh, show that one. 
Ooh. You found that. I never remember you finding those. I won't take credit oh, for that. Oh, we were at a garage sale and I knew about this product because of something with my mom. I don't even know, but they are like a really, really high quality stainless steel. And it was surgical steel. Right? Surgical steel, yeah. yeah. And it's a set of eight. And they're like these healthy cooking cookware pans. Four pans and four lids. Four pans That's and four lids, as in the four, are. as in yeah, the pieces. Because I thought it was pieces. eight pieces, eight pots first, but it's four lids and four pots. And they were like new, and they're nice. They're like had yeah. all of the instructions still, and it sold for one hundred and thirty-six dollars, December twentieth. It was definitely Christmas a present, present for somebody because they're very, very nice. You got good feedback on that. I don't too. even remember what we paid for them. Thirty bucks. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Like yeah. yeah, great profit on that. Yeah. All right, one more T-shirt. Last T-shirt of the show. I promise. We're of this video. This was my personal t-shirt, Red Hot Chili Pepper shirt. I bought oh, it in another wholesale lot. I kept sad. it. I enjoyed it. I wore it. It was just a little bit too big on me. So I sold it. And it sold for $850. Wow. Which is a lot of money. But that's why with vintage for me, like it's a it is an investment sometimes. So like the way that I tell people how I see vintage like my own personal vintage collecting is if i go to the mall and i buy a, this is so a lululemon t-shirt for 120 dollars, whatever it is and i walk out of lululemon and i wear that shirt immediately that shirt's worth like 30 bucks right on their unless they market. just continue and it's like in high demand for some weird reason sure. which is really rare yeah. maybe like one percent of lulu right. items do that maybe but with vintage if i buy a t-shirt for myself and i i pay a good price i'm not overpaying for it like let's say this Red Hot Chili Pepper shirt. Let's say I paid up for it and paid five hundred dollars for it. Let's say. Okay. And then I enjoyed it. It stayed in my closet. I wore it, and then I and then I sold it for a profit. I'm not losing money on it. So most of my closet, like at least sixty percent of my closet, is vintage T-shirts that I paid less money for than I can sell them for today. Your closet which is, cool. is a revolving door, and I love that you yeah. do that. There's only maybe like ten yeah. to fifteen pieces that are never for sale, and most of them are just because they were presents mm -hmm. to me, not because of the va high value of them, but because they they mean something to me. You know. Right, and if I've given you a shirt that was a childhood shirt from one of my parents, sure, not for sale, like the fashion victim, right, skeletons right. Yeah. fornicating. <laughs> okay. I'll pop up a video of that so people can see it. <laughs> All right. Um, let's do, we have this, this. Okay, Just hold on. a few more. A few more things. There's this dress. You found this I dress found this one. I don't remember Don't it. take credit. I found that. Diane, Diane von Futzenberg. Which, by the way, <laughs> when, I posted, <laughs> when I posted about it, someone actually told me she's the inventor of this type of dress. It's a wrap dress or something like that. She invented, she invented the wrap dress? the wrap dress. Thank you for your service, so, ma'am. Uh, it sold. It was new with tags, and I paid a lot of money for it at the thrift store. That's crazy. I think I paid. Thirty-seven dollars for it or something like wow, that. Wow! But look how it sold. It for. sold for one hundred and forty-five dollars. Like that's so much money. Really nice. I'm wow. proud of myself that I flipped a dress. I Go me. also <laughs> am very proud of you for that. Is my allowed to be proud of you for that? Sure. Because I am. <laughs> okay, wait. Let's save these for the last item because this is my favorite item to talk about. Ah, uh, yes. Let's show them these, love. Oh, we're gonna talk about these. Yeah, because there's there's four of them. Allie found these. They're not worth $100 plus each, but all together, they're worth quite a bit of money. I've bought all of them together. And my thought was, hey, these are very cute. They are, let's see, 1994, 1995, 95, and 93. So 1993, 90s. 1994, 1995, right? They're folk art, they're carved wood. I know folk art, carved wood stuff does really well. I love it, and so I was like, somebody else has gotta love it, because apparently I have these generic tastes looked it up Great and i was tastes. like whoa these are worth money but they all sold for really Fast. good money yeah. and they're so cute and i loved them brian said they're a little weird and creepy but i like a I little creepy in my them. decor you know like give me really a little creepy them. make it creepy, creepy one of them was creepier. like very slender man looking but yeah they're just cool. well just like a tall carved wood do you dude. remember what you paid for them for all Four. Four of them. I think they were two ninety nine each. Ooh. So I believe it was twelve dollars. But let's say 15? it was fifteen dollars for all three of them. Fifteen bucks. One of them sold for forty seven. One of them sold for seventy. One of them sold for sixty. Wow. And one of them sold for seventy two. I didn't want to see them. That go, was the though. most expensive one. The one with the polar bear. The parrot. Oh, the parrot one. Okay. Parrot. Yeah. There was one with a lion Pretty and cool. one with the polar bear, and I was like. So Aww, there you go. Lychee and Zero. Great 
Great American Taylor. Okay, and then the last items that we sold for $100 plus in 2023, I say items because we sold multiple of these. In fact, I made a <laughs> I made it I this made it a goal thing. in life to go to Goodwill and find vintage coach purses. Which we after... don't want to tell you guys about because we're doing so well and we don't want everyone else to buy them. Yeah, that's well, true. But this lady, I'll post the comment. I've posted it before, but I'll post it again. Melly Hollywood or whatever your name is, Melly Mellywood Media. That's what it was. Mellywood Media. You are wrong, ma'am. Welcome to the show. So she Welcome to being put a incorrect. obnoxious comment out. And listen, I understand that Goodwills are different everywhere, and maybe our Goodwills are different from hers. Maybe her Goodwills don't get stuff. Yeah, but, but we've like royally we know proved that. how wrong she is, and it feels good and, sometimes. And every time we post this, people are like, "I find Coach all the time at Goodwill." Yeah, which is so weird because we've always been finding coach at goodwill yeah. so i don't know what area this person is in where they don't but we find it all the time so here's some of the recent coach sales vintage coach sales that we've had this one sold for 147 dollars 87 we paid eight bucks for it this one sold for 147 dollars 87 we paid eight dollars for it this one sold for 147 dollars 87 we paid it's $8 the magic for number it. by the way this one sold for 120 dollars. we paid 15 dollars for it <sighs> That was mine. I literally this, went in my closet and grabbed all of my vintage coach purses to give to Ryan to sell because I was like, this one, I don't have any attachment to them. <laughs> I'd rather have the money. This one sold for $119 for it. Also yours? No, mine was the bucket purse. 15 bucks for it. Here's I the bucket. I did buy one like that for myself once and we did sell it. The though, bucket purse money. sold for $163.45. Giant, gorgeous, beautiful, nice, big bucket purse. Bucket. Bucket. <laughs> so literally, lady. Yeah, you're wrong. You're wrong. But we love you're you very anyway. very wrong. And no, honestly, I don't love you. I just want you to know that you're wrong and to be nicer to people online. And if you watch this video, maybe leave an apology and we'll forgive you. Oh, yeah. Or we'll forgive you anyway. No, honestly. don't leave an you're apology. Fine. Let us keep making fun. No, I'm just oh, kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Actually, leave a hate <laughs> comment. Yeah. Tell us how much you hate. <laughs> no, it's fine. I mean, we say make stuff that's wrong all the time, yeah. right? But like... Yeah. I'm not mean to people online that I don't know no. and tell them that they're wrong and call them liars. <laughs> like, that's a weird to me. Why do that when you're wrong? Right. But there you go. $100 plus items that we sold in 2023. Some of our favorites, not all of them, but up to like April, some of our favorites. Hopefully you guys have a prosperous 2024 and hopefully this video helps you out. If it did help you, please feel free to share it. Please subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. Hit the thumbs up button. Leave a comment. Those, All those like little things that you guys do, just let us know that we're doing a good job. So, do Oh, them. yeah. And make sure you drink a lot of water this year because it's very important that you drink water. And also make sure you try to get eight hugs a day. And one kiss. Give and or receive. Oh, but eight hugs a day. <laughs> Love you all. <laughs> Thanks for watching. And we'll see you on the next video. Ooh, go hug somebody. Later. Bye, friends. Bye.